afternoon. Blue skies as we look north here in South Fargo on our Storm Team Skycam network. Looks pretty out there again, but it does not feel pretty once you step outside. We've got some chilly temperatures and some clouds on the way. Already starting to see some of those high clouds streaming in here this afternoon. Let's take a look at our current temperatures. They are in the sub-zero range for some still this afternoon. We're looking at two below in Fargo. One below right now in Grand Forks, and our coldest temperature is four below in Valley City, up to Crookston, Roseau, all at four below right now. So a frigid lunch break for a lot of folks. And uh, when you factor in a little wind, some of us struggling with some wind chills in the teens to even 20 below in Devil's Lake. So a cold afternoon starting up. We're looking at some winds that are into the northern northerly direction and into the single digits. A couple of us seeing a wind speed or two top off a little bit above 10 miles per hour and getting into the afternoon. We'll continue to see that wind stay on the light side, though. We've got a couple of reports of low visibility. Fawson at less than a mile there and Bemidji at two. So along Highway two here, it looks like we're having some visibility trouble and checking out your radar and satellite map. It's pretty quiet. We're looking at some clear skies north and east. The farther south and west you go, the more likely you are to see some areas of some cloud cover starting to roll in and a little farther west from there, some areas of snow. This band stretching from parts of Montana back through South Dakota and Sioux Falls once again getting hit by snow. Uh, that's the area we're concerned about, though this could impact us in our far southern viewing area this afternoon and into tonight. So moving through our hour by hour planner, we'll see some numbers above zero, maybe only a degree or two, but we'll rise a couple more degrees here through the rest of the afternoon and have that cloud cover. Basically Fargo and south is where we're li most likely to see that with that area of light snow potential continuing here into the evening hours. Again, this is in the far southern valley and this will be pretty light. We're looking at anywhere from just some flurries to maybe a little dusting of snow here in some of these areas and up north much quieter for you. You'll be more on the clear side throughout the day and temperatures there a lot colder first of all tonight because you're clear there. So you're going to see some numbers down into the teens below even around 10 o'clock tonight. So getting through the nighttime hours, the system clears away. We have uh, clear skies by tomorrow morning and temperatures that are into the teens below zero. Some of us seeing our coldest temperatures of this latest round of cold weather here uh, for tomorrow morning. As we get into the later morning hours, some sunshine and eventually a little southwest wind will help to warm us up a little bit, but only a few degrees above zero once again. So a couple of really cold days here to round out the week. But as we get into the weekend, we start to see some hints at warming on Saturday and it really starts to get going on Sunday. I have 16 degrees, which really isn't all that warm, but uh, it is milder than we are now. And hopefully into next week, we have a couple of 20 degree temperatures, maybe even on Valentine's Day. That would be a, a wonderful gift. It would be. <laughs> Straight ahead at noon.